Good morning, YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. Johnny Ray. <laughs> That's me. I thought I'd make a video, even though, as I say often, uh, what to say, what to talk about in this world that we're going through right now. But I don't. We're going into a new week. We're going into the end of of March 2022. We'll be going into April. And uh, this is a new week. And so I thought I'd just make an update about what I'm reading. How I'm doing. Today is March the 27th. 2022 is 9.39 in the morning. It is a Sunday morning, a Sabbath morning. My wife's at church. And I'm sitting here reading. Uh, I've been showing this for a couple of years. Because I have, I've shown you the volumes. This is... The Life of Jesus Christ, Part 1, Volume 1, Chapters 1 through 40, uh, Rudolph of Saxony. This came out in... What year was this one? Uh, 2018. I got this. And I read it. And then... Uh... The Life of Jesus Christ, Part 1, Volume 2, came out, chapters 41 to 92. And this came out in... Oh, what year was this one? 2019. So I read this one. And then volume, Part 2, Volume 1. Chapters 1 through 57 came out, and I'm almost done with this. This one came out in 2021. And as I've mentioned to you, that the fourth and final volume of this classic medieval spiritual work was supposed to come out this month in March. But now I found out it's going to come out in the middle of April. So, uh, I should have this one done. <clears throat> Part 2, Volume 1, Chapters 1 to 57. By the time it comes this morning, I was reading on uh, Chapter 47 with loins girt and lamps burning. And he was speaking on Luke 12. my old Bible. Luke 12, which reads, he was, his meditation was on Luke 12, which says, let your waist be girded and your lamps burning and yourselves be like men who wait for their master when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Surely I say to you that he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. And if he should come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. But know this, that the master of the house had but know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. So I was reading that this morning. So I'm looking forward to getting the fourth and final volume of Rudolph of Saxony's Life of Jesus Christ, a very famous medieval spiritual work uh, and uh, 
I also mentioned that I was going to get the final volume of Greg the Great, more reflections on the book of Job, which was supposed to come out this month. And also I found out it won't come out until the middle of, of April. These are the five, five volumes. This is volume one of Gregor the Great. Uh, more Reflections on the Book of Job, volume one. Preface, books one through five. Translated by Brian Kearns, OCSO. I've read all of these. Uh, this one came out, the first volume came out in... This one came out in... It's published by Liturgical Press. This came out in 2014. And then volume two came out. Uh, more Reflections of the Book of Job, books six through ten. This is a very uh, famous medieval work. Gregory the Great was Pope from 590 to 604 a time of great turmoil in Italy and the Western Roman Empire, generally because of the barbarian inv invasions. Gregory's experience as perfect of the city of Rome and as Apocrisius, a Pope, Pelagius fitted him admirably for the new challenges of the pap papacy. The more reflections of the Book of Job were first given to the monks who accompanied Gregory to the embassy in Constantinople. The second volume, containing books 1 through 10, provides commentary on Job 5, verse 3, to Job 12, 5. Gregory sets forth a mystical interpretation of these chapters, showing the way that Scripture foretells Christ's incarnation and Job himself manifests Jesus' passion. So this one came out... This volume came out in 2015. So, and then I won't go into all, I won't, I'll show you all of them. Then volume three came out, books 11 through 16. And then volume four, uh, books 17 through 22. Greg the Great, more reflections of the Book of Job. And then volume 5, books 20 through 27, the more reflections of the Book of Job by Greg the Great. This one came out in 2019. So then the sixth and final volume will come out in April. So I'm kind of excited about that. Finish those. I also have been reading in the mornings that I mentioned. Reform Systematic Theology, Spirit and Salvation, Volume 3, by Dr. Beakey and Paul M. Smalley. I'm on page 795, Assurance of Salvation, Part 2. And this is going to be a six-volume six work, if I remember correctly, in the... The fourth volume will come out next year, 2023. Lord willing, if the earth is still here. So that's why I've been reading. I'm still reading. I read this yesterday, The Glory of God. And Paul, Text, Themes, and Theology by Christopher W. Morgan and Robert A. Peterson. Let's talk about the glory of God and the resurrection. And I'm still reading Jonathan Edwards' Spiritual Writings and the Classics of Western Spirituality. And I read this, Jonathan Edwards' Pastor, Religion and Society, 18th Century Northampton by Patricia Tracy. So these are the kind of things I read in the morning up into the afternoon for devotions, when I'm writing in my diary. This morning, for the year 2022, I'm on the page 304. 304. So, I don't have any more physical therapy sessions. I had six of them. 
I'm doing my sciatica exercises, praying for healing, praying, God give me grace. I, you know, I suffer from chronic depression and anxiety and I just don't like being in this world, especially right now, all the political shenanigans and the war in Ukraine. And it's just one, just depressing living in this world. And I have to pray constantly that the Lord would keep me focused on Him. And um, it's like, I keep thinking of that verses in, uh, Epistle of Hebrews, chapter 12, which says, um, says in Epistle of Hebrews in the New Testament, therefore, si therefore we also, since we are surrounded by a great, so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight in the sin which so easily snares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and I sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So I keep thinking of that run, let's run with endurance, the race set before us. And so that's what I do. I keep running the race, looking to the Lord Jesus Christ for grace and strength and keep my spirit up as far as what I'm reading I, I've been buying books I lately from um, Verso Press and I found out that Verso Press is a subsidiary of Penguin and Random Books uh, they owned Verso Press which I didn't know I've been buying books from them I got this one in the mail the other day uh, how I Became a Socialist by William Morris. M William Morris was uh, a Vic late Victorian British. He was into oh he, well it says uh, William Morris is a famous as a designer, poet, and artist as well as author of a topian no novel News from Nowhere which is in the Penguin Classics, which I have downstairs. Less well known is his work as a political activist, thinker, and contribution to the history of British socialism. So I've been reading, last night I was reading his Art Under Plurocracy, Plurocracy, Pluto Crossacy. Yeah, I, I don't know if I can pronounce it. But. So I was reading that. Got that in the mail. Also, I've been reading another book by Verso Press. I got la uh, last week. The Impatient Life, a memoir by this French communist, Daniel Binsad. I'm not pronouncing that. This is translated out of French by David Fernback. I got this because it uh, it just looked interesting. I, I like reading memoirs of people outside my own uh, comfort zone or my own perspective. And I like reading memoirs about political activists even though they might have a different political views than I do, but uh, this kind of looked interesting, so I bought it. Uh, so I've been reading this, and then I've been reading the, still the memoirs by Mark Lanigan, Sing Backwards and Weep, a memoir, still reading that. And then I've been reading another memoir, <laughs> Uh, Hourglass, Time, Memory, and Marriage by Diana Shapiro. I found, the other day I was at a local thrift store and I found another bio, 
one of her earlier memoirs, Inheritance, Memoir of Ge Geology, per Paternity and Love by her. I really like her. I, I don't know, she's, she's interesting. And as you know, I like reading memoirs. As you see, I got, I got four of them right here. And then I've been reading Harry Cruz, the gospel singer, uh, a novel that was first published, I think in the eighties. Penguin just published this. This was copyright 1968. So I've been reading this. And another Versal book I bought, I've been a couple of weeks ago, maybe last month, The British Empire, Resistance, Repression, and Revolt by Richard Gott. I'm really, I, I really like reading this. It's, I've learned a lot. And I like reading about British history, world history, European history. Primarily, as you know, I'm a, a student of American history, American Christianity, um, American literature, American poetry, American politics, religion, art, music, popular culture. So these are the kind of things I've been reading that I will be reading throughout this week as we go into the month of April. And, uh, Gospel Singer by Harry Cruz. I'm almost done with this memoir, Hourglass, by Diana Shapiro. And then I'll start reading her one, Inheritance. Reading Mark Lanigan's, who passed away recently at age 57. He was a uh, rock singer. Uh, he was in the Screaming Trees. He did collaborations with the Afghan Whigs, Queens of the Stone Age. He puts out some solo albums with... Uh... So this is his memoir. And reading this, The Impatient Life. He was a, a political activist, communist, all his whole life, French communism. That's what I'm kind of interested in is his perspective on Marxism and communism from his perspective and reading about William Morris. And this came out like in the 1890s. This was published, his writings. Uh, it says here, uh, yeah, William Morris lived from 1834 and he died in 1896. And then I've been reading about the British Empire, resistance, repression, and revolt. I'm on chap part four, Britain expands and counter revolutionary empire during the war against revolutionary France, 1793 to 1802. So that's what I've been reading when I'm not reading about the glory of God and Paul or reading about Jonathan Edwards or reading Gregory the Great on Job or reading systematic reform theology. I was reading here on uh, the Assurance of Salvation part two and reading Rudolf of Saxony on the life of Jesus Christ, reading the Bible and writing in my diary, trying to keep myself sane in this crazy, fallen, rebellious, darkened world. <laughs> uh, just praying that God would come quickly. Come, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Uh, like I said, there in Luke chapter, that was that chapter 13. Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning. 
Therefore you also be ready for the Son of Man. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming at an hour you do not expect. So watch. Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning. So I pray that you're having, you have a good reading week. Hope you had a good weekend. I hope that you're all well. I do thank you for your comments. I haven't, like I said, I'm always finding comments a week, three or four weeks in the past. I don't know why they don't show up at the bottom of my videos. I have to go looking for them. And uh, I appreciate all comments. I thank you for your subscription. Thank you for your prayers. You're in my prayers. So I do pray that you have a good reading week. Uh, I don't have anything. I, I do have some used books I've gotten from thrift stores in the book nook that I'll show in a future video. My wife leaves Thursday. This coming Thursday, she's going to go visit our son, Josiah, his wife, Hannah, and our two granddaughters, Marika and Lydia Jubilee, on the 31st of this month. And she'll be gone for 10 days. And maybe during those 10 days, I'll make videos and talk to you guys. I told Carol when she's gone, I'll be just talking to the house, talking to myself for 10 days, being by myself. What, what I'll do is I'll read my books, I'll pray. I will uh, take my Xanax. <laughs> I'll do my Cyanica exercises, take walks. And just pray that the Lord will give me grace to, as I go through my insecurities and my depression and my fears that I will be having my lamp burning my heart burning for love for the Lord Jesus Christ, my heart burning for longing and thirsting and desiring a greater love and fellowship and communion with the risen Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'll sign off, I'll download this video and pray that you all have a good reading week. And until next time, I can't think of anything else to say. I don't have any books coming in the mail. Oh, I did. I did order a used book on the history of American literary history that came out in 1949. I read about it somewhere and I ordered a used copy. The two, it's like over a thousand pages uh, on the history of American literature published in 1949. I'll probably get that in the mail maybe this week. So anyway, thank you. Pray you're all doing well. Good, have a good reading week. Thank you for the new subscribers. Do pray that for me. Pray for Russia. Pray for Ukraine. Pray for the world. And pray that the Lord will come quickly. Until next time, bye.